coronavirus pandemic changing life as we know it, and many Americans are using their sudden surplus of spare time at home to pick up new hobbies. Absolutely. Now that the weather is nicer, a popular trend from the World War II era is resurfacing victory uh -huh. gardens. Nikki and Dave Schott are owners of Permaculture Gardens, are here to share a few tips and tricks on how you can get started to grow your own food. Good morning to the both of you. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, so uh, you know, maybe you can let people know exactly what are Victory Gardens and why are they becoming even more popular than ever? Yeah, well, many liken the impact of the coronavirus to that of the Spanish flu in 1918. Well, during that time in 1918, we didn't just have that Spanish flu. We also ha were um, battling World War I. And they estimated 5 million gardens were created in idle lots, backyard plots, to provide uh, the U.S. with food and its allies with food, the troops at that time. So we did a joint webinar with Green America where we talked about how you could start your victory garden to fight the effects of climate change. The webinar replay is available on our YouTube channel. So when you create an organic garden, you restore ecological balance. But not only that, you become a producer of food, not merely a consumer. You, you supply food for yourself and your family. So basically in that same spirit of um, gardening for the collective good, we're sort of at war with coronavirus and we want to garden for that good as well. All right, so let me ask you too, uh, here in Western Michigan, what are some things that people need to think about when they're starting to do this kind of thing? The first thing that we thought of in Michigan uh, was preparing the soil. So prepare your garden beds instead of tilling them every season to build them up so that you preserve the life that's under the ground that supports that life above ground. So this technique of building up the soil in layers is also called lasagna gardening. And it's simply using cardboard as your weed bar barrier, base layer, adding mulch, adding manure if you have it, topsoil, and straw at the very top. This way you don't disturb and destroy the fungi and beneficial microorganisms in the soil. Okay. Another item is uh, diversity in your gardens. You can ensure success by diversifying what you're growing. That way it att attracts less insect pressure and ensures that you have consistent success in your garden regardless of what uh, succeeds each season. Right now you can start carrots, beets, onions, cucumbers, peas, and radishes in Michigan, and soon hot weather crops like tomatoes, okra, beans, and summer squash. We also oh my gosh. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> I had no well, idea. Yeah. And uh, you know, where can folks go to learn a little bit more about this if they want to start one? Uh, you, you can go to our website. We have a lot more detailed information at uh, growmyownfood.com. We're also currently doing a trial so as a response to coronavirus, we want to help out people who want to grow their own food this season. Uh, our normally paid program, Grow It Yourself, is free for 30 days. No credit card rep required for anyone who wants to sign up at growmyownfood.com. That's great. Love the idea. Thank yes. you, you guys. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it.